Good morning everyone. Uh, today we have taken home our heifers. This is 10 of our biggest heifers. Um, these will be calving in January and mostly calving in early January and uh, I think the latest one in this batch is first week in February. So uh, we took them home. They were making quite a mess. We had a lot of rain in the last two days so they were making quite a mess um, and it was time Time to get them in, especially now with, with them calving only in another two months. So we get them in. We, what I just after doing there now is putting them up into the crush, and I'm after clipping their tails. Didn't do it with the with the razor. I done it with the actually with the hand clippers because there was a lot of dung on their tails in the last couple of weeks. Um, just with the grass the way it was, the grass was so soft and wet. Uh, it's just kind of running through them and left them that their tails were getting heavier and heavier and got to the stage where they weren't fit to lift their tails then and they were getting very messy looking and so what I done was I just rather than they'll be clipped now in a couple of days time we're going to dose them and clip them completely but rather than putting the razor or the clippers through um, really clogged up tails I decided just to do them with the hand clippers first just their tails so that you know obviously if you put the clippers onto the tails the way they were it would of course it would it would do them far quicker but you would blunt the blades very fast um so it didn't take long just to do them with the hand with the hand clippers there's the hand clippers there we use i have them set i suppose now i have them 15 years best little thing you could have around a farm the cows be in the parlor there and they don't like the noise of the, the electric clippers going on you end up you could have everything spraying in your direction if you know what I mean I don't want to say the word here because there might be kids watching but you'd have poo we'll say coming from every direction if you put on the clippers in the parlor noise the cows very much so so this here I just do the cows three times a year with this in the parlor very very quick once you get into a once you get used to doing it and um, you can do tails very very fast so brilliant little bit of kit to have around the farm very dirt, dirt cheap every farmer should have a pair of them so the job to do next will be to have to move this barrier, this division gate, move it up um, to the middle middle section there. So they have two bays um, and they'll have an extra two cubicles. We put it at an angle so they have an extra two cubicles. We have to move some of these cows around. There's extra room in this other shed where the milkers are. And there's a couple of milkers still here. The most of these are dry all but three. Um, and we dry them. We put uh, some red paint on their backs, on their sides of their necks as well, and we also put yellow tape on their tails. You can see it here. This tail tape, you can see it there on the back of that cow. It's just a tail tape. Um, yeah, we mark them pretty well so that no mistakes can be made, especially when you have milking cows in along with dry cows. Uh, but yeah, you just have to be very, very careful. Um, accidents can happen. But if you mark them well enough, I go in there every three weeks and I put a bit of spray on them. Top the spray up just so you can see it nice and nice and plain. But them two milkers that are left are going to be coming out of there and join the rest of the milkers now um, because the heifers need more room. So you can see we're still tight on space, but when the new shed's finished, we'll be fit to take four or five cows that are calving late. Um, there's actually, there's actually uh, a couple of cows in there that are empty. Um, in here with the milkers that will milk away till probably um, I'll probably milk them till early February because they're milking very well and um, they're empty on purpose they're just four older cows that we they're big um, and they're just the time has come they've done their job but for now yeah the main job now is just to lift this up barrier and there's little hangers and uh, it's quite an easy job just to move it up then we get the heifers into the shed we we'll clear up here and We'll get silage in in front of them, get them all closed up and settled in. So as mentioned before that we have a wee walkway for bringing cows into the milking yard. We have a walkway here. It's up behind, if you can see this, where we were looking there a minute ago. These are the calving pens. So we have a walkway that goes through here. Next door, we walk in through here and up there. And that brings this brings us right up and into this house. So that's extremely handy. Um, for putting cows in the calving pen, we can open the door here now and then run into the calving pen as well. But everything's designed, everything's designed basically to um, 
to be able to be done with one person, um, you know, it's 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 easy. Yeah, I know I know this setup now, the back of my hand, and I've got such a routine going that uh, I don't really need anybody helping me. Um, like I can bring cows as they come near calf and out through here. I can open this gate here, and then I open that gate there. It'll come across and chain to this one. I'll open that gate there when the pens will all be cleaned out. Uh, emptied out, but that gate then will open across here and the cow will just come in. You can't go anywhere else, up into the calving pen, close the gate. Very simple. Um, and works extremely well. There's no room for error and uh, less stress on the animal and it's just very, very straightforward. Come on. No, you stay there, you stay there. Uh, where are you? Come on, 54. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. There you are. Come on, 127. Come on, come on. Oh girls, nice and easy.
So that's it. That's our first heifers in um, of 2019. Uh, it's probably around the same time we put them in last year. Last year maybe, I suppose we might get another week, week longer out, but uh, we're happy enough to get them in now. Uh, as I say, they were starting to do harm, and it's time they're in anyway. We do normally give them a little bit of uh, rolled barley now, and vitamins as well, just to build up, build themselves up then for for when they calve, put a nice bit of condition on them, but there is a nice bit of condition on them already, as you can see. Uh, yeah, there's definitely plenty of flesh there, so uh, they'll probably fail a little bit, usually do fail slightly when they go in, um, and then they start to pick up again and thrive. It's just normally the way, it's just an adjustment to their stomach and the diet that they'll be on. Uh, hopefully that's the last of them we'll be bringing home, the rest will Fingers crossed, as they always say, we'll be going into the new house in a few weeks' time. Um, the boys are there roofing the day. Uh, we got a delay. They were supposed to be there three days ago, but they came today. And uh, glad to see them there. I'll be lighting a fire under their backsides to make sure they keep moving. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. As I said before, if uh, you do like these things and you're even you're a non-farmer, there's going to be plenty of stuff here that's, to suit everybody. Uh, this channel is not just focused on on farmers, uh, it's focused on the non-farming community as well. Uh, just to give you an insight of the runnings of a small, average uh, dairy farm in Ireland. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, uh, give us a like. Um, I see we're very close to the 1000 mark, um, so we'll do something special for that. I'll give you a video, as I said, a bit of information, just a quick bit of information about who I am, who we are, why we do what we do, um, and uh, yeah, just a, just a very quick uh, kind of get to know introduction video. Um, so I think we're very close to that now at the moment. So we'll, I'll I'll take time to do that correctly, and and uh, I'll post that up. And yes, maybe you never know. I might just show my face in, the, in that one, just just to show my appreciation to everybody that has subscribed. And we're, we're over the moon, as I said before, and loads of other videos. I can't say it enough. Over the moon with the amount of people subscribing and finding our videos interesting. Because that's all, in the end of the day, that's all all I want. Uh, but as I say, I'm just trying to keep the thing mixed and show something different as, as different as I can in each video rather than just having videos there for the sake of having them. So thanks for watching again and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.